so much of our focus is on trying to understand the creative artists that use our products and learn from that, bring that back in-house, look at what we have done and what we are doing and trying to find a way to create something that might really take our products into another generation. This gives us the opportunity to take what we already do, which is making backdrop images, and actually have them live under a huge degree of control from somebody actually on set. To do that intermittent change and the twilight into dusk, into full night, uh, is a great feature and you can either do it as it's happening or you can choose the moments. What's really exciting about this is when you normally shoot in a volume, you have to create a three-dimensional environment and that takes many weeks and months in order to do that for every single environment that you create. But here, having access to the Roscoe Library is really exciting because within a matter of a few days, now you can take what was once a backdrop photo and now you can create it a, a, an actual virtual production environment to shoot against. The story's about what's happening in the foreground. Not every show can afford the high cost of pulling together custom material for backgrounds. That really opens this up to a lot of productions that wouldn't be able to pay the upfront costs. The Roscoe product in a volume seems like what it's really doing is democratizing the products so that as directors and cinematographers, we can control aspects of it ourselves easily and quickly. So I could be standing next to a cinematographer and they could just move it over a little bit to the left or the right. If you had a multi-story set where if it was a straight backing, you'd have a problem with the horizon line, you could adjust the horizon line depending on what floor of the set you're working on. able to design your backing, it becomes a more creative process because it's not a photograph, it's your painting, it's your expression of the story. I'm really excited that they've kind of taken the bull by the horns and come up with a way to jump into the, the next level of production in a way that makes it accessible and really flexible for the average filmmakers. exciting to bring those elements of movement beyond just the backdrop itself. So whether that's a rolling fog or whether that is some rain coming down, it's the little pieces of the subconscious visual process that the audience can really resonate with and not even know why. This becomes a much more satisfying way of experiencing a day of production because you can see what you will ultimately composite and no more do you need to composite it. You have it in real time.